We had uh, Moxie doing a promo in the back, telling everybody they needed to keep up. And he says he was going to give his blood to the people who paid to see him. He was going to do it every single time. And it looks like Lee Moriarty is going to be maimed and pulverized on Rampage. Yep. As noted, Ty challenged Deanna. Then we had Swerve and Jeff Hardy, which was interesting because this was a tale of two matches. The first half of this match, man, they were having trouble. And they had trouble in a lot things of weren't smooth and I mean it was like swerve like it, it would, would be like like almost like like basically almost like what what do I do you know he'd be like stop because Jeff was whatever you know it's like they were they were just like on different pages or something right well it did thankfully pick up a lot in the second half and uh you know by the end of the match I mean we had holy shit chance and swerve's house chance and finally swerve hit the stomp got the pin it did turn into a very good match after a rough start. I will yeah, say well, there's some there was a lot of risky stuff, none more than that uh, twist of fate on the stairs. We had uh, Hangman and Swerve having a confrontation backstage. This was where they announced that next week it was going to be dealer's choice for both guys. Each of them gets to choose the other's opponent. Yeah. Which are always funny matches because, like, in theory, you know, shouldn't one of them choose, like, Wardlow? Like just squashes yeah. everybody and never loses, and but one no one's choose, going to. And shouldn't one of them choose Tottenham Singh? Yeah, something like that. You know, or 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 um, Samoa Joe. Samoa, yeah, or Samoa Joe. I mean, or you know, some or John Moxley or Brian Danielson or Claudio. Yeah. And then we had Thunder Rose and Red Velvet. Holy smokes, this was not good. Thunder no. is so slow since coming back. And the crowd was absolutely dead. And she hit her weird package power bomb, which does not look good, and uh, and got the win. So more ring time, I think, is needed here. And a new finish would be my recommendation. Sting and Darby came out for a promo. And Darby did this speech about how, you know, I my first year in wrestling 2015... I saw this man's career end early due to a neck injury. I thought, man, what would I do if that was me? And then one day he heard Sting was coming to AEW. I thought, why is he doing that? He can't wrestle. And so they went to Sting's house. Sting has a ring in his garage. They rolled around, and Darby told him, you know what? You've still got it, and we should wrestle. And next thing you know, they're 27-0. and 0. And he says, since the Doesn't rankings are back, three three years, I think that puts us at the top as number one contenders. And uh, even though the rankings are supposed to reset, I think they'd be zero and zero this year, if I recall. No, 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 no. It's just that's the rank. The, the, the it's everything. Everything counts. I thought it reset at the beginning of the year. They've done that every. No, the year. wins losses reset, but that doesn't have to do with the rankings. The rankings are going to be based on everything. You know, just based on current. Um, you know, I just hate we're, we're, these rankings. Have ever mentioned how much I hate the rankings? Well, yeah, it's it's like I don't want to judge them until they do it. They've I mean, done it before. Okay, every every company that has ever done rankings in pro wrestling, it's always been a mess. It's always been illogical. Let every me ask you time, a question, Dave. Every single time, but I'm because they they did it before and dropped it, and they're doing it again. My thought is is that perhaps. They learned from the mistake because they did drop it, so they knew it was a mistake. Okay. So I'm giving them a chance. Let me to, ask you a question. To, to, I'm, I mean, I'm just giving them a chance to do it. Let me ask you a question. Yes. When they had rankings before. Yes. Let's say that they wanted Thunder Rosa to challenge for the title. Okay. They put a number one contender for out of nowhere. No. When they had rankings, okay. They did. But what would they? That's what they did. I, That's what they did. They would they would take someone. Okay, I'll I'll answer the and, question for you. What they, they take someone did and put them up there. was they had somebody run up a bunch of wins on dark and elevation. No, they wrestle so, every week and get like sometime, sixteen wins on dark and elevation. Not always. Sometimes you just put someone. The point up. is, they usually was did no, this. No, there was no consistency. That was the problem. They didn't Dave, do. That. Sometimes they did that. Sometimes they did nothing. Dave, listen, sometimes they just put someone number I one. I know with this no because wins. I talked to people who explained to me that you know what? I remember when I had to challenge for a title, they made me go to dark and elevation and win like fifteen matches in a row that nobody no, watched. But the, but the point the, is, they don't have that anymore. But they it's gone. Do, but they didn't do that all the time either. But now they, they can't do it at all. Yeah, so that, so they've got to do it based so, on they've got to do it based on what they do on uh, the two t on the three TV shows. So what do we need rankings for? 
Just have people win on TV if they're going to challenge for a title. I'm not a, I'm not necessarily a fan of them, but I'm not going to say this is a dumb idea before the idea is even done. I mean, Grant, I mean, I will go with the precedent. Every time it's been done in wrestling with every company that's been done with, it's been a mess. It never worked. I mean, it never it never really adds to it, but more more importantly, they never have any consistency in how they do it because in the end, you're going to go in there and someone's going to get, you know, you're just going to come up with an especially with Tony. He can come up with a match he wants to see. A match that perhaps, you know, someone gets hot or perhaps he just has this feeling, hey, you know what? I think these guys are going to have a really good match. I want to book it. And he's going to put that guy in, like, the top contendership spot with no, without, you know, because if you're going to have a guy to get win, 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 win to get to the top, the reality is, is you can't pivot fast enough because it's going to take you're like, right it's going to take like two months to get someone there and sometimes you need that match in less than two months sometimes you got an idea and you want the match on wednesday and it's just the right time and place well it sounds and, to me like maybe we don't need these rankings i'm not a fan of the idea but i don't want to say it's gonna you know i i want to see it implemented with the knowledge that of why it failed the last time and and if it's the exact same thing as last time then and there's nothing learned then it'll fail again because the point I'm, is, Darby bringing up these rankings, it's completely irrelevant. Just say, we've we're, never lost. We're 27 Maybe and we, just, we should get a tag team championship match here. Well, they're getting it anyway. They're getting tag team championship match in Phoenix in two weeks. Well, yeah, he asked for it. And then he said, Sting, you want to end your career as AEW tag team champions? Sting said, I'm in. They hugged. The fans were confused. Like, are we doing this tonight? What's yes, happening? In two weeks. But they left, and then Big Blue and they, and Ricky, they have to, They have to win. Uh, they have to win the belts. I would think so. I, I, I it's two don't. weeks from now, Big Bill and Ricky accepted the challenge. Yeah. You know what I liked about this show a lot? We were just talking about this the other day. They're announcing a lot of matches. We have multiple matches for next yeah. week's Dynamite already. We They finally gave us multiple yeah, we, matches we, we, for Collision. Hey, look, look we, we know every top match for the pay-per-view, most likely. Or I'm not every talking but officially. But we got we got yeah, we uh, know. matches for two weeks from now on Dynamite. We got one match from two weeks from now, but yeah, I know. But that's what we need. We're trying to sell some tickets here, right? Especially if we're trying to sell tickets. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, because that's the one thing is is like they they've got to turn this ticket sale thing around because you know it's like it's a bad perception. You know when you're going into some of these cities. And, like, you know, tonight was bad, but freaking Bossier City on Saturday and, and New Orleans and and that uh, 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 was the Texas one in the city. The, the, it's not even a big city. It was a Rosenberg, Texas. And the um, Henderson, Nevada. Henderson, Nevada is under 1,000 tickets. I mean, there's some bad ones coming up. And then hopefully, you know, and they haven't hardly announced anything for March. But I know that I know that I do. What I do know is that they are going to do less shows in Bossier cities and more shows in New York and Philadelphia's and, and San Francisco's and stuff. Um, they're not going to run as many small market shows. That I know, but I haven't seen the schedule. But that is definitely, um, you know, and this is, um, um, you know, uh, Irby, Kosha Irby is now in charge. And we will see, like, none of this can be blamed on him because none of this was his doing um certain number of things and also you know the deal is is they they cut back on those late discounted tickets which um you know that that's a mistake too but um you know but i mean ultimately the re the reality is is that you know you've got to have you've got to have a strong product and you've got to have strong local promotion um of the product or or your you know, it's not a day where you can just, if we book it, they will come. You know, I mean, WWE can do that. But AEW, is, because WWE is so strong, AEW, they need to work really hard to sell tickets. Yeah. Then we had uh, the Acclaimed versus Gates of Agony and Brian Cage, which was fun while it lasted. The uh, Bang Bang Gang interfered on uh, behalf of the Acclaimed. They put Nana through a table outside with a power bomb, which actually Jake. I'd have saved that spot for a pay-per-view. Jay, um, yeah, yeah, I agree too. The Jay um, took the chair when, um, which one was was it? Was a cage with the chair? I think it was. Uh, it was a Toa. Somebody had it. Khan grabbed the chair and then Jay took. Khan it away. and then yeah, Jay took it away and um, and then they they yeah they did the power bomb so they all interfered and um, then they did the uh, 
the what was it the uh, it a 3D on Toa. Billy hit the fame ass or acclaimed hit their finish, got the pin, and it was it was a fun match. It was fine, yeah, yeah. Serena Deeb returns on Collision, and then the main event. With my own two eyes, I watched Edge versus Minoru Suzuki in 2024. Yeah. I can't believe what I saw. They had a, a great Suzuki match. match. It was a great I match. I mean, they beat the hell out of each other. And the crowd loved it. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you know, I will say one thing. I can't believe I'm going to do a criticism of Minoru Suzuki. When he is bipedal, when he's on two feet, he's awesome. But, man, that guy does not like taking bumps. No. He had to take a uh, DDT and his, the, 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 the DDT horrible. Did not, did not look good. No. And then the the kill switch at the end, horrible. This guy does not like to take bumps. But he will stand there and pound on you and take a pounding. And, of course, you know, uh, Adam won with kill switch. And then afterwards he got a promo. He said, I have never been hit that hard in my life. He said, uh, Suzuki, respect. And he offered a handshake. And Suzuki saw him by looking at him and going, ah, and walking off, not shaking his hand. And the crowd laughed. And Adam said, honestly, I would have been very disappointed if he shook my hand. <laughs> and he said, that was a war. It was a kind of war Christian knows nothing about. Christian, I'm still coming for you. I thought this match was excellent. A great match. The, a match short, I though. never thought I'd see or could believe that I saw. Yeah, I thought it was it too was short, but I thought that with the time that they did was, was excellent. And, um, yeah, you know, it was, uh, I don't know what it means. You know, I mean, it's it's essentially like from a marquee standpoint, if there was anything on this show, you know, that, that was going to, you know, it's like my gut is Adam Copeland and, Mor and Minoru Suzuki is a main event that appealed greatly to too to few people. But what the hell? Um, we'll know tomorrow. Um but it was, you know, I mean, they built the whole show around it. They did tell you who they were. They did do a video package early. They did the best that they could with it. And the match itself, for the time they were out there, delivered. So um, it delivered a really high level. And it was, it was, you know, Adam Copeland can, you know, I mean, it's, this was absolutely not an Adam Copeland match at all. It was a Suzuki match. But he was, he certainly did his part. Uh, in the match, you know, it wasn't like, um, you know, he, he was he was he was really strong. These glasses are bad. Just a minute, I have changed glasses. Let's all change something. <laughs> I need to change so many things. These are new ones too, but I can't see with them. <laughs> okay, here we go. He's got to change the, the red, the red head pin. You had to get a strike. It was a bowling tournament. You gave away a picnic table of all the prizes. A picnic table. <laughs> this is terrible today. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Corn buckle. Huh? What was it, <laughs> Brian? I what? What was that? <laughs> Come on, Brian. What's going on? Keep, keep going. On a lonely, okay. lonesome highway. That's all I have for today. Okay, well. Are you sure? Excellent <laughs> job, Granny. <laughs> Shut up, Brian. <laughs> I had a note down here for some stuff I was going to answer. Hello? <laughs> yes, he's all right over there. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.